The Layers palette is one of the more important palettes to have open in Illustrator. I've got mine pulled out so we can see both the object and the Layers palette by itself. First of all, to create a new layer, look at the very bottom right hand corner of the Layers palette and it looks like the little post-it note. Clicking on it will create a new layer, usually at, um, above whatever layer you had selected. And by default, it's going to call it layer and give it a number. To erase a layer, select the layer and then click on the little trash can. This will delete away the layer and if you had anything on it, so let's say if I deleted the ladybug, it'll give me a prompt saying, are you sure you want to do this? And that's okay. We'll say no. To rename a layer or to change up any of the options, simply double click the layer in an open space, so not on the name, and this will bring up the layer options box. You can give it a new name and you can also change the color of the outline of it. So if I wanted to call this red ladybug and change the color to light blue, you can also make it a template, lock it down, do other things. We'll say okay to this. Now notice my outline is in the light blue and I've changed the name of it. The final thing you can do is to lock down a layer and turn off the visibility. To turn off visibility, simply click on the little eyeball icon. This will turn off everything that's on that layer so that you can't see what's on it. Clicking on the eyeball area again will turn it back on. To lock down a layer so that nothing on that layer can be selected, click on the empty space that's just to the right of the eyeball. Clicking on this will give you a lock icon, and now I can't select anything that's on that layer, but I can select the other layers that I'm working on. Using layers is a great way of keeping all of your, um, your drawings organized within your overall document.